What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and welcome to Roundhouse Office Hours with Professor Heiss for April of 2023. Oh, good God, Blackbird Gaming. I tab back into the chat, and you're already here. <laughs> well, cheers to you, everybody. Uh, it's the end of the month, so we're doing our Railroad Q&A. Um, this one's going to be a little challenging, I will say, because I do not have my right-hand man, Mikkeli, is uh, on vacation. What? Uh, so I'm going to be in charge of chat and keeping track of questions and things. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but we'll, we'll see if we can get through it. And as always, I do have questions that are previously asked that we can get through. But it's going to be some good stuff. And uh, let's see. Let's get into it here. Uh, but of course, Blackbird Gaming right off the way here. Goodness, man. Thank you, first of all. Just got off a of tie gang, so unfortunately can't stay for stream, but hope you're doing well as always. I love these OT hours because I can support Zuma. Much appreciated. And good goodness. Uh like, yeah. Got off the tie gang on overtime. Yeah. <laughs> Go have a beer. Like, seriously. 
All right. I cut that. Yeah, dock him a, dock his pay for uh, being in here. I'm doing well today, guys. It's been a pretty low key day spent working on YouTube things on the computer. It's a lot of fun stuff that goes in on the back end. But as always, we're doing railroad. Um, uh, road Q and A. So if you have questions, ask away, and then I'll start diving into the pre-asked questions as well. Um, I see Manline asks, "Have you been working on Zuma outside of stream time? Maybe we can make more progress that way." No, I have not. Uh, I kind of want to stream all of it, um, and it's just one of those things that's like you have to be in the right headspace to want to deal with SolidWorks. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm hopefully gonna try and make it a regular thing at least once a week. So we'll see. Anyway, getting into it, we have a previously asked question from Michael Hostetter. Hostetter? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Controversial topic, but why do vacuum brakes suck in comparison to automatic air brakes? Well, I mean, they literally do suck. That's how they work. Um, <laughs> that that be how that is. Um, so the big thing with vacuum versus automatic air to keep in mind is that vacuum you have the differential between atmospheric and zero and with automatic air you can get a much greater pressure pressure differential i want to say an atmosphere is like almost 15 psi it's like 14.7 or something so if you have vacuum brakes you can only have a 14.7 pound differential in your system and if you go up to altitude uh, that gets even worse and with automatic air brakes Train lines 70, 90, 110, somewhere in there, depending on what era, what railroad, all that sort of stuff. Um, so, like, you can have a huge, many, many, many more times the pressure differential to make things move more quickly, release more quickly. Um, so, I mean, uh, you get a lot more functionality with air brakes. And as well, air brakes allow for a little bit more flexibility in switching operations than vacuum does. Um, the vacuum system doesn't scale the larger trains that well either because you're trying to draw a vacuum from the locomotive all the way back. So short trains, sea level, like it worked great. And the, the safety critical nature of you lose the pressure, vacuum happens, guess what? Like, bang, you're there. Th that's pretty smart. Don't get me wrong. But uh, we figured out how to do the same thing with air brakes, but in a, uh, in a much better fashion. So uh, that is where vacuum brakes versus uh air brakes come from anyways let's see forge gamer i've seen you ask me this a bunch can you interview me for a project sure uh add me on discord if you haven't and then uh we'll try and set up some time bob ross first office hours you've been able to catch good day well good day to you and yes do as tristan say Dro drop a like do the thing It's my favorite steam train from the Netherlands. I, I can't say I honestly know uh, specifically steam trains from the Netherlands to have a favorite. And I don't really have a favorite from the United States anyway. So there you go. Non-railroad question. What's my favorite car slash car make? Uh, 1968 to 1970 Dodge Charger is my favorite. Followed very closely by the 68, 69 GTO by Pontiac, which I'm very, uh, very happy to have. The IDK, what's going on, channel? What do you think of the jazz recordings? I only ended up listening to the first one. I need to go back and listen to more, but you guys sound good. Uh, much better than my high school jazz band was, so props to you. Per Michael Jamberg, you love the channel and your train videos, bro. I'm glad you do. Getting excited for Colorado Crossings. Yes, Colorado Crossings is going to be awesome. Um, for the uninitiated, that's the next big event at the museum. It's not uh, next weekend the weekend after may 13th and 14th 20 is gonna be hot 491 is gonna be hot we're gonna be pulling um a bunch of wacky different trains than we normally do it's gonna be really cool um gonna be a lot of fun special photo charters there's all these events tied in with it it's like it's gonna be a weekend it's gonna be busy um but it's gonna be a lot of fun so i'm really excited for that um 491 is gonna be running during the day both days giving rides uh, with a mixed train including tank cars which is gonna be fun uh finish or hopefully knock on wood the freshly repainted and new platformed and everything 284 will be back in service as well for that uh, and then 20 is gonna pull a special charter kind of train um in the evening re uh, recreating the bb and clegg excursion on the rgs two notorious photographers um they chartered out a train and 
they had like fre a bunch of freight cars, caboose, and then two business cars tacked on the end for him. So we're gonna do, you know, a, an abbreviated version of that with a couple freight cars, a caboose, then the B21 and the B8. It's gonna be really cool. So that's Colorado Crossing's gonna be great. I'll be there um, all day, both days. Uh, so if you guys come out to the museum, come say hello. Let's see, Raven Amir, hey, first stream, you've not been in work for months. Love the amazing content, keep it up. Good to see you, yeah, it's been a minute since you've been on a stream. And IDK, what's going on channel? What do I think about the Doble Steam Cars? I'm not familiar. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna get back to a couple of the, uh, the asked questions. They're from a post that we did on the channel uh, in the memberships chat from two like from january and we're down to like two and a half pages so we're gonna answer them all today gosh darn it where's a good place to ask questions right there uh i'm gonna try and catch them if i can um it's it's i'm a one-man show right now so it's hard to catch the good questions as the chat goes so i'll do the best i can obviously super chats and top chats and all that sort of thing make it really easy for me to find but anyway <clears throat> Mean Metal Mike asks, thoughts on Tennessee Pass? Tennessee Pass is really cool. Um, I wish Tennessee Pass would operate again, but it, it doesn't. For the uninitiated, that's the original Rio Grande alignment in Colorado, the standard gauge, uh, before we had the Moffat Tunnel. Let's see if I can get uh, a map or something pulled up to kind of show that off so people have context. Um, Let's see. That's just a wall of text. That's uh, cool. <laughs> I, I hate trying to find maps of the Rio Grande because people, like, people just did not make... That's one of the things that I want to help with. Okay, so here's Rio Grande system map. Um, so Tennessee Pass is specific, specifically this chunk over here. Um, originally starting, you know, the whole alignment is from Pueblo up to the junction there. Um, but it's really cool, like 3% grade, standard gauge. Um, this was where the trains ran. Like before they had the Moffat Tunnel, everything on the Rio Grande went over that way for standard gauge. And it was originally three foot narrow gauge. Um, and then I don't think it was dual gauge. I don't know. It ended up being standard gauge. Still exists, Union Pacific owns it. They just don't operate it. So uh, what do I think? It's really cool. I wish it could be, you know, used by someone today, but uh, unfortunately not the case. Anyway, that's Tennessee Pass. Couple top chats popping in. James Buckner, so this is new. Uh, yes, you, you're able to paste the thing in there. That's very fun. Colton's Taylor just got back from the East Troy Electric Railroad. It's so cool seeing Milwaukee Road steeple cab electric equipment and the North Shore streetcars. That does sound cool. I'm not terribly familiar. I know the steeple cabs. Those are really cool, but I'm not familiar with the North Shore cars. Tristan Rhines with the Mississippi flooding where you live. I was wondering what kind of dangers do floodwaters pose to trains into the railroad itself? Uh, quite a lot. Modern day locomotives are diesel electric and if you get water in motor, motor not happy. Um, you are also obviously worried about washouts and the ballast getting taken away and uh, a whole manner of things. Like a flood is crappy for a railroad. Really, really sucks. So. Um, lots of danger. Steam was a little better than diesel back in the day because you, you could still trudge through a flooded railroad, if, presuming the track hadn't gone all wonky. Um, but a diesel engine, as soon as you get water in the traction motor and the, the dust covers to access the brushes, to change the brushes, like, they're only so good. <laughs> so if you get up to the height of the traction motors, you're, you're pretty much uh, hosed, literally. So good question, though. Random snack. What is your opinion on reptiles? They're fine. My mom has had a lot of them in the house over the years. She was very involved with the Pacific Northwest Society that celebrates reptiles and snakes and lizards and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, you had... It, <laughs> you think of the song Snake Farm. It's a reptile house. Uh, that was my house growing up a little bit. Mom, uh, mom loved the animals. S still does. She, I don't know how many she still has, but... Very much, uh, yeah. Any kind of exotic lizard, snake, something that you can imagine. We just about had it, so just shy of a Komodo dragon, at least. 
Rabid Squirrel. It's a German saying squirrel, at least according to Top Gear. Welcome to the Breakman. Peregrina, love the madness of an East Coast time. Friendly stream, thank you. Non railroader ask, what's a pop car? Makes me think of the railroads online bugs. Pop car is uh, that is the slang term for the uh, uh, the Fairmont speeders that we have. Let me pull up some footage. I have many footages of the uh, of the pop car. It, it's called a pop car because it go pop. Secret. There you go. Um, <laughs> They're uh, typically used for maintenance away. Um, if you watched the safety video react that I did earlier this week, they featured quite a lot of speeders, <laughs> quite a lot of little pop cars, and they destroyed a bunch of them too. I don't know if uh, oh, I don't know if my computer wants to load the terabytes of 4K footage that I'm hoarding. I don't know if I'll be able to find the pop car soon enough. It's cool. Oh, I guess I could go in my Google Photos. We'll do that. Search for videos. That, that's a hand car, that's not a pop car. Goodness, was it? It was before the East Broadtop, okay. Let's see. All right. This thing. It's called Pop Car because it go pop. Can we get it running the right direction? Hey! Muscle time! Don't go jump on the cross anymore. Here! Sam! Sam, we'll give you a ride. Yeah! That's the whole thing. I like that. That's okay. I don't want to walk. And then this is the infamous uh, Layton's beanie hat. No? <laughs> He's gained a Dusty. They're terrifying little things. Yeah, this is the mood. A little dumb to have the crossing activated for that, but that's a pop car. There you go. It's a fun little thing. It's a very fun little thing. How oh, chat's gone crazy since the last one. Okay, trying to catch up now. Let's see, last top chat. Luna likes trains. What's your opinion on Quincy and Torch Lake? Their number six is basically the closest thing to C25. I, don't, I know vague things about the Quincy and Torch Lake. Like I know they exist and they've got a cool Mason bogey or something. Um, I can't say I'm familiar to the num with the number six. Oh, weird. Google Foo. Oh yeah, the long smoke box on that's neat. And big big counterweights and weird driver spacing. Well that's not the issue we want. I want the six. That thing. Presumably it looks better than that these days. It's one of those things. I'm trying to find pictures. That's probably the engine back in the day. Seems neat. I don't know much about it, but Cool. Jonathan Pendergraft, what's my favorite locomotive that I've worked on? I'm gonna ban the word favorite from my channel. Just auto mod the word favorite out. <laughs> um, I don't really have one. Like, I've, I've spent the most time with 491. I've worked on 491 the most, but that doesn't make it my favorite. I've got the most experience with it, but I like working on all three of them. That's the steam engines, and then I've worked on a bunch of random other locomotives. Uh, Doyle's PA that Doyle McCormick just sold. I worked on that for one one day. That was funny. That was a fun story. <clears throat> anyway, cheese react vid when bacon soon. I, I I can do a cheese react video. That'd be fun. I haven't I haven't tried it yet. I've been meaning to go to the store and grab some crackers, but uh, I haven't. Although I guess I, I could just take it straight, but that's uh, that sounds danger. Sounds like danger for uh, me and my lactose. Uh, enjoyment there, so <laughs> we gotta get into it though. Sits upgrading to an ESD engineer. Well, cheers to you, mate. Cheers to you. Uh, tonight's beverage of choice is 
The Sawtooth Amber Ale, by the way, not sponsored. <laughs> Let's see. You can't have a favorite because the other two get mad. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. How many likes for you to drink whiskey? Uh, a lot, because I actually don't have any right now. <laughs> I'm actually out. Remember, got to go to the store. So, But I've got beer, so we're having, we're having some beers tonight. Let's see. Have I ever thought about getting into live Steam? I did really briefly, and then I decided, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll just build a full-size one. <laughs> Maybe. We can dream. Colton's Taylor. What's your favorite favorite that you favorite? Oh, the favorite. Naturally. Octopat 5313. It be blue. This is probably better than the Bruins game seven. Yeah. Blue lamps. We're getting close to, to gold lamps. Um, although, I, it's funny. I need to figure out what I want to do because Mickley did make the, um, the whole set gold. So we could do originally what we we're going to do where after a year, you get a gold lamp with the blue lens, or the blue glass globe, that's the word. Um, but I could start it over at the green lamp with the gold frame, and then we could have one year, two year, three year, and four year. So I, uh, that could be fun. <laughs> so I'll have to see how that goes out, but yes. Anyway, Robert Valdez, good afternoon, hi. So I wanted to say hi, and thank you for all your amazing videos. You have a question. Is it true that Lincoln Pin are the first? I assume you mean type of couplers. I am not great with early railroad history. Um, I don't know for sure. I would imagine it's kind of the simplest thing. So, mm. shrug. <laughs> Muckers, yes, it's Fab 007 NL. Hey, hi, it's long time no speak. How you doing? Arctic Revival, good question. What did you learn while at BNSF? Not railroad skills, life skills. How has that knowledge affected your work at the museum? Oh, good God. Uh, real safety culture. Um, people, learning people. I never was really great at, like, I was a manager there, right? And starting off, it didn't go terribly well for me because I didn't know anything. I didn't know things about people and how people act and how people talk and whatever. Um, you know, I always tend to get along with everybody, but being a manager is a very different level of role. And so I learned a lot on that uh, on that front uh, while working there. Also learned that night shift sucks. <laughs> oh, good God, all the questions. We're gonna get back to a couple of the pre-asked questions here. I'm gonna finish the top chats. 40K Farva, are those all the pickups you and Con are gonna need for Herodzel Mine? Uh, no, we're gonna need more. <laughs> hey, Armagon! Hey, friend. Will you ever do a video on different types of steam locomotive cylinder compounding? Ugh, compound locomotives make me drink. <laughs> so perhaps. You worked on Rarids on Extended with Tom. Yeah, I remember you. I was gonna say your username was really familiar, so. And Zach! Panda upgrading to a fireman, thank you. All right, let's see. Wolfpack, okay. One more question and then and then I'll get back to the pre-asked questions here. Wolfpack63 asks, question, did the cookie mogul really have a bright blue paint scheme? Because you look up the mogul and you can see a decent amount of pics of the blue, blue paint scheme, even in Train Sim Classic. No, it did not. This is a Fulmer um, inaccuracy that has persisted throughout the years because people will take one source and just run with it, basically. Uh, my understanding, and this is not from me, I am not a paint expert. I'm friends with some paint experts. This comes from, um, I can't remember if this is Armagon or Andrew Brandon's um, actual detail on why it wasn't blue. It, the paint spec for the Union Pacific, who owned um, the dsp &P, which was then the UP&G, Union Pacific and Gun, I don't remember. Anyways, they owned, they were the parent company, and the railroad was operated separately, ultimately became the CNS. In that era, they owned it, and the paint spec calls out for the black to have Prussian blue added to it. And so someone saw blue and said, okay, paint the engine blue. That's what they were. But it's black with a drop of blue to make the black more black. So no, 
They were never painted blue. <laughs> they were painted black. And a very nice deep black because of the way that the paint works out. Um, so that is just a foamerism that is just carried on through the test of time because somebody like did research and, and figured it out in like the 1970s and pfft, here we are. So one of those annoying little inaccuracies that the, the real historians have gone through and, and figured out and have credible research that proves that that wasn't the case, but uh, still there. <laughs> so no, they were not painted blue. They were green. Just kidding. That was the grand stuff. Anyway, <laughs> Jam 7. Breakman for four months. Some of my favorite Rio Grande standard gauge steam. I love almost all of the Rio Grande standard gauge steam. Uh, my buddy Dusty, <laughs> Jimmy's friend from the museum, um, has a bunch of cool Rio Grande standard gauge steam on his HO scale layout. More than we showed when we did the video there. Let me see if I can pull up some pictures of that. Um, he's got a he's got a bloody lot of cool Rio Grande standard gauge steam, um, and I can never remember the exact classes. But the the M's, the big M's, the the four eight four and the four eight twos, the sixteen hundred. Like I like the eighteen hundreds. I think a little bit better than the sixteen hundreds. But they're all great looking engines. The doghouse, the big flat sided tenders, like so freaking cool. Yeah, yeah, lots of lots of fun steam choo choo things anyway <clears throat> yeah uh and then of course the l's the l105 the l131 all super cool oh good god you guys are, are faster at chat than i than i can get answer i'll try and catch up evil me hey look four months of wasting money time flies well a uh, cheers to you good sir you're wonderful fireman for four months nicholas downs brakeman how does one able to upgrade a membership? I'm not sure what the button looks like on your end. Uh, you should be able to go to the membership tab uh, on the channel and uh, do something from there, but so. Ah, Armagon from Randolph1924. That's where it came from. Yeah, technically they're painted blue, just a very dark, dark, dark blue. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> base department? Yeah, it's for you guys. I'm glad. Uh, Colton's Taylor. Oh, by the way, a little while ago, uh, you talked about Boeing planes. Yeah, Yes, Boeing planes. Spelled like that. Traveling from Kansas on the BNSF. The company that makes them is Ducomum, and you happen to work for their electronics division, Small World. That's very neat. I did not know that. Robert Valdez, what about British chain couplers? I don't know. Chain couplers might have been before Lincoln Pin. I'm not sure. And evil me with 10 memberships gifted. Cheers to you, mate. I'm almost done with beer number one here. As smells like Kenosha is playing. It's appropriate. Anyone uh, want to guess what my bottle opener is? Railroad Spike? Nope. Hi, Jersey. Welcome. Hi. Uh, you'll see it on stream in just a second, but uh, bonus points if oh. anyone guesses what it is. It's a really good bottle opener, actually. What is that? I see it was stamped with Dergua, I think. <laughs> it was stamped with Dergua. That, that'll give a little bit of a hint. It's from 491, whatever it is. Figured that. <laughs> and it's got it's got some guy's initials. Meh. Stamped in it, too. But, Meh. Meh. Uh... Piston ring? Yes. Points to Jersey. Oh! Yeah, they're, they're segmented on a, on a big engine like that. So they have yeah, six chunks. That. Yeah. I think it's six. Yeah, uh, six makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. And several sets. So yeah, they uh, when they re-ringed 491, they uh, they made some of those. And uh, Brett gave me one. Saved me one. So. That's cool. Ah, I thought so, too. All right. Back to the pre-asked questions. I said we were going to get through all of them tonight. Banana it up. How long until 346 is operational? When it's done. <laughs> It'll be a while. I can show you what it looks like right now. I haven't... Um, I've been meaning to post a video about it and film some stuff about it, actually. But 
Yeah, this was, uh, here's, here's a day, uh, a day in words, firebox, it's a vibe, grinding the tube nubbins flush with the tube sheet, because they're welded on the firebox side. And, uh, yeah, confined space as much? Yeah, 346's firebox sucks. It's itty bitty. Okay, so it's still a naked grandma. It's still a naked grandma. Oh, yeah, she's she is all kinds of blitzed apart. And I, I don't think anyone's ground any more tubes flush since I have. Uh, one day at work, and I got about 15 of them flushed to the sheet so that we could cut them out with the torch. Um, so, you know, time's a, you know... <laughs> <laughs> times 150 total, you know, only, you know, two weeks straight, more work to go. And, um, uh, yeah, face, face mask, uh, <laughs> respirator thingy or whatever it is, fa the other kind of face mask and glasses. And you still look like that at the end of the day. It's a great time. And then, uh, yeah, turns out, uh, turns out the, the gross penetrates two shirts. I got two mustaches in that picture. Yep. You ever work on Steam, kid? Anyway. <laughs> so, 346. Long way off. We have no timeline. Could be a year. Could be three years. Shrug. So. Anyway, I see that we got some more top chats coming in. Um, I'm going to keep... I'm going to do a couple more questions, then I'll get to those. Pulitzer, what model trains do I have? Yes. Many. Um, most of my model trains are SN3, like these. And I'm waiting on a new one to show up, actually, right now. Um, it didn't show up yesterday. USPS dropped the ball, so it'll probably show up tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got a couple engines in SN3. I've got the three girls that we have at the museum on display uh, in the backdrop there. A couple others. Um, and then I got some Lionel stuff downstairs running on the floor at the moment. Got to do a video about that, video too. On that. I know, I need to. Yeah, <laughs> okay, good. That's how I got my start with trains, was playing with Pennsylvania Railroad Lionel trains on the floor with the ZW. So, like... Oh, Wings has joined us. Oh, hello, Wings. Howdy. Let's see. Let's see. Chica Feeds asks, how do pistons work? If one side is next to a wall, engine is stationary, how does it get pushed back? It gets pushed back by the wheels rotating. That's called starting on one side, and it sucks. Um... Yeah, you, you have the pistons offset so that if one is at front or back dead center, the other one's smack in the middle of its power stroke. So you usually can back up or go forwards or something. One of the ways will be easy enough to move by adjusting your coupler tension. If you're all the way tense, you can back into the train, then get both pistons going, uh, or you go forwards to achieve the same thing in reverse, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you you kind of just have to rotate the wheels because it's all the pistons are driven position wise based on what the wheels do. It's one of those concepts in engineering that feels a little backwards and because you intuit right away that, okay, the steam pushes the piston. Therefore, the steam tells the piston what to do. Well, yes, but also no. The motion is constricted to what the rods and the boundary conditions of the system let it do. So the piston can move no further than the wheel can rotate it via the main rod and everything and so you, you kind of have to understand that yes the steam does move things but uh, it can only move it to where the rods allow it to unless something breaks <laughs> oh man i have been waiting three months sorry four months to answer this question this is a burning question here from james patterson how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop I don't know, Jimmy. Why, why don't you suck on a lime and figure it out? <laughs> oh, God damn it, Jamie. Jim, Jimmy, Jamie, Jimmy. James from the cog. Uh, let's see. Last last of the pre then we'll get to the top chats here. Cordell Kuiker, I think, was the only reason the 485, the only K36 not preserved because it rolled in the turntable. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep, it rolled it ES indeed, and it ES indeed late enough that they didn't want to fix it. My thought is, if it was the 40s or the 30s when it rolled over, they would have fixed it and dealt with it, or reboilered it, or whatever it would have needed. But it was the 50s, and all their engines were wearing, and you know, 85 had some decent running gear stuff, and it saved them a lot of trouble to 
allocate the stuff from the 85 to other engines, like made everything a lot easier for them. So that's what they did. Uh, 489, like almost all of 489's running gear is actually 485's, which is fun. Uh, Rara does that crap all the time, so. All right, getting back to top chats here. Gamer Boy 102-72003, conductor for a month. If you visit Alberta, you should check out the railway in Stettler. The steam engine is the 41 from the Jonesboro, Lake City, and Eastern Railroad. Sure. I've never been to Canada, so maybe someday, but... <laughs> Actually, I do know I am going to Canada at some point next year. I know that is happening, but uh, we'll, we'll see. William Grantham... Engineer for 11 months. Good God, man. Cheers to you. G'day, g'day. Loving the new lanterns. Be sure to thank Mick. Also looking forward to what footage comes from Colorado Crossings. Yeah, me too. I need to, uh, I need to figure out what I want to film for that. I don't know. I don't know. I have no plans, uh, of what content I'm going to do. So we'll see. Um, I might just make a, a video of the event and like meet trains or maybe use it as an excuse to talk about mixed trains. Shrug. I don't know. I know that more K37 kitchen will be coming though. Uh, now that we got the engines fired up, we gotta do we gotta do breakfast. So that'll probably be during the week while we're firing up though. As uh, we <laughs> we all saw what happens when you try and cook on the move, huh? <laughs> Rusty Rails Productions Fireman for five months. Don't have time to watch right now, so you'll watch the vod when you get off work. Well, that's what it's there for. Cheers. Evil me, since the train set is going to be ES and DM debating on whether or not it's going to have a gondola car with shot glasses, because why not? If you have a gondola car that has shot glasses in it, I guarantee you they will make it into a YouTube short. I will, I will guarantee you that, evil me. You're ridiculous, and I'm here for it. Let's see, Peregrina. That is the coolest bottle opener you've ever seen. Very in keeping with thing used for not intended purpose of the grand. And video update on Grandma when. When we work on it some more. <laughs> I've been meaning to talk about the process of the 1472 um, and everything you do and, and the form four. Like I wanna get all of that there, but it's kind of like, we're not at that point yet still. Like we cut all the tubes out and I've got a bunch of bitch and time lapse footage of that. I might, I might actually just toss the time lapse footage up. Um, give me an excuse to play some vaguely dad rocky ACDC stuff uh, <laughs> for the video. So um, yeah, I need to do that. Um, but I'll, I'll probably post that relatively soon. So let's see. Do we catch catch up on the top chats? No, S I'm still scrolling. Let's see. Andrew Frame. Hey, buddy. Locomotive parts belong to whatever locomotive they're on. Yes, they do. But when they're stamped with the with the number... When they're stamped with the number of the old locomotive, it's always kind of funny. Colton's Taylor, how did the RGS-20 not burn through the oatmeal? I have no idea. I don't understand. It must have hardened into cement, kind of, or something. No idea. Steven Just... Breakman, four months. When you build your loco, what number will it get? Number one. He was number one. <laughs> the, the zoomy boy. The zoomy boy is number one. And we would number it uh, number one. We might actually, uh, you know, we might use some amount of, uh, you know, shit posty fun and, and have some different numbers that we could put on it. But uh, the, the goal right now is just have it be number one. Devon Storm, if you visit the UK, would you like to visit the Talachlin Railway in Wales? Yes, very much so. I absolutely really, really want to go to the Talachlin, so someday. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the uh, the pre-asked questions. Now that I have friends in here, I don't know if you guys want to like look through chat and grab good questions and hoard them for me, you know. If you want to do a oh, let me let me open a chat little, little bit of Mickley action, if you you know if you want to be super I'm not supreme modded helpful. In your chat though, you're not a mod. Do you want to be a mod in my chat? Sure, so I can ban all the people saying throw me in the fire. <laughs> sure, uh, leave a comment, leave a comment Jersey, comment. so I can uh, add you as moderator here. I mean, I have a question, but it's not railroad related. I mean, I guess it kind of is if it's for K37. There you go. Like, like people are. 
aware of like the concept of the idea of like the full English breakfast, what would you consider like the full American breakfast? The full American breakfast. I mean, the the classic thing when you go to like a diner is what comes to my mind. I mean, it's not something that like you don't want to eat it every day because good God. But I mean, you go to like a greasy spoon diner and you get you have some sort of usually pig based meat, bacon, sausage, whatever. You have eggs in whatever variety. You have a potato, starch, usually hash browns or home fries. And then you have some sort of bread, toast, something. And then you, you get all those four elements. That's pretty much what you're looking for. So so basically a grand slam? Pretty, yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's like, that's the thing. Obviously, there's some uh, there's exciting options. Like my, my personal gluttonous favorite, like if I'm going out to a greasy spoon, I love a chicken fried steak. It's it's naughty. Like it, they are not they good are not for you good. in any way, shape, or form. But it's probably my favorite guilty pleasure food. <laughs> I think my favorite uh, breakfast guilty pleasure is uh, corned beef hash. I Ooh, that in a while. Good shit. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Jersey Central eight three three, Brakeman for eight months. I have the power. Yes. I wasn't expecting you to read that one, but. I Here did. It was funny. So, you know. <laughs> Abe Lincoln, could you possibly try cooking a steak in the K37? I need to. Um, I'll try and I'll do probably one regular steak, and I really want to buy a Wagyu steak. A, so I can have Wagyu, but also B, because then you can clickbait the fact that I ruin a $200 steak with a train. <laughs> Andrew Frame, my man. Chicken fried steak and eggs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sold. Done. I don't know what uh, I don't know what part of Seattle or uh, the Northwest you're in. I know you're somewhere up in the Northwest, Andrew. Uh, you ever make it to Flo Anna's in Seattle, North Seattle? They got a bitch in chicken fried steak. That is like the best greasy spoon. Any of you in the North Puget Sound area? There you go. That's where you want to be. <laughs> All right. Getting back to the pre-asked questions. Wise Guy Gamer asks, will RGS20 go back to Cumbrace or possibly Durango? Yes, but when? We don't know. Still in the air. The Dogman 1.0. How does the reverser on a Steam locomotive work? You want a 101. Uh, grammar. Uh, Steam 101 kind of covers that, my original Steam 101 video. But through Valve Gear, and oh man, I need to film it. This is the video that I need to do. Um, I was doing demos of Valve Gear just last week with this really, really neat thing that we have at the museum. We have this little, like, I think Josh was saying that they think it's a, uh, a salesman sample, but it, I don't, I don't know where this came from or what it is, but it's a demo of Stevenson's valve gear. So you can see the eccentrics, the Johnson bar, the main rod would be over there. And then you've got a crosshead and then the valve. So you can set the Johnson bar and see what the motion does. It's super cool. But through all that shenanigan, with the Johnson bar or a reverser, we can control how far the valve moves based on the geometry of all these levers and things. And uh, I, I really need to do a whole 101 on Stevenson, but it's uh, the finer points are still beyond me. Um, I've had a lot of it explained to me. I understand the basic stuff, but there's a lot of neat details about like lap and lead in the valve and how that works. And I don't understand how that plays out. And I'm not about to do a 101 video without covering that. So. Soon, someday. Colton's Taylor, you gave him the power mark. Now you can't talk about pineapple pizza and cooking him. I mean, you shouldn't actually talk about cooking Jersey, uh, but you should talk about pineapple pizza. I'm just saying. No. After Neither. after last one, I I made a, I had a pineapple pizza. It was great. That was the single meanest thing you've ever done to me. <laughs> if it's uh, like if it's fresh pineapple and it's like a good cut of Canadian bacon, like it's definitely better than what you'll get from like a chain place. I can understand purists such as Jersey not digging pineapple on pizza. Like I get that, but it it is tasty. Like it's not traditional, but it is tasty, and I do enjoy it. So, and Armagon has arrived. The Styles lad himself. 
It is I, the Grand Archdeacon of Baldwin. Yes, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. No. <laughs> Does that make Andrew the Pope? <laughs> no, the me- no, Bupkis is dead. I was gonna say we already have. Yeah. yeah. Does I that would make be Andrew really... Bupkis that, is dead. That means that means. Wait, Andrew's. I, I mean, it's either that Andrew is Bupkis's dad, or that Andrew is a cardinal. I went to Catholic school. I remember some things. I would say that Andrew is definitely a cardinal. I would possibly put forth David Fletcher as the Pope. Man, no, it's things. still Bupkis' dad. You I did. That. He could be Bupkis' dad. You don't know. What, what, what's higher ranking, a cardinal or a bishop? Cardinal. Uh, a cardinal. Yeah. You have, you have bishop, you have archbishop, then you have... Then you have cardinals? I don't know. It's been a long time since I went to Jesus school, so. <laughs> Jesus school? <laughs> I, other, you know, other than my hair and beard, just, you know, being the depiction here, so it's fine, but. He is Bible Man too, son of Bible Man. <laughs> yes, correct. Anyway. He ain't crucif fucking around. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's fine. This is not a religious show, though, so we're just gonna get, skip past this and get back to our questions here. Tanner Flowers asks, so when a train slips, you remember said something about how it's a bad thing? Uh, Ex-boiler explosion like what happened on the Gettysburg Road back in the day. What causes this to happen? Uh, That's like two different tangents. Wheel slip does not cause boiler explosion. Wheel slip bad, but doesn't cause boiler explosion. Boiler explosions, I mean, yeah, bad. And what causes it to happen? Not having water to cool the top of the firebox down. And then all sorts of metallurgical sadness happens, and it becomes a giant steam-powered trebuchet. It's fine. Fine. Crown plate squishy. Crown plate squishy. Yeah. It's actually kind of neat how it actually fails, because it's not like you melt through the crown sheet. You you just expand the crown sheet just enough that the threads in this crown stays no longer engage well enough, and they shear off. And then, pfft, yeah. Which, the, uh, the Gettysburg thing... Um, was actually good design by was that CN or CP that engine? Uh, Canadian CP. Pacific. Canadian Pacific. Yeah, they they made like the crown stays weaker in the front of the box so that if it failed, it would only partially fail, and that's what happened with the the Gettysburg engine. If it was a different locomotive from a different railroad, it probably would have just gone boom. So, uh, yeah, very interesting design choices and considerations. It was basically like the the next evolution of a fusible plug, where, like, right, right, instead of just having like a single hole, you could vent it. It just like you have the first few ro- rows of bolts. Just it'll buckle, but it won't completely shear it. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's get through a couple more uh, these pre-asked questions. We're down to less than two pages here. UP Rail Fan Forty Fourteen. Hey, Heist, have you ever been in a standard gauge? Yes, many times. D and D junkie, junkie, what, what uses for moonshine are in running a train? He had moonshine when he typed that sentence. Um, <laughs> back in the old day, uh, I mean that was just the uh, the business as usual. But these days, yeah, there's no use for moonshine on the train, unless it's for passengers. Springtrap gamer, what is the burning duration of oil burners versus coal burners? Like total with tender capacity, I imagine. Um, I don't honestly know. I mean, it all... It depends, drink. Um, yeah, I, I don't know either. The The main thing is that you're going to run out of water usually much, much faster than right. you right. run out of your fuel. It, precisely. Um, and, I mean, it depends on how hard the engine's working. If it's slogging at tonnage and just absolutely pulling for it. I mean, like, the, the big boys ran through all of their coal just about doing the Cheyenne to Ogden thing, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not that's that fun. long, and they went through 20-plus tons of coal that fast? Like, holy crap. Holy but crap. an oil burner, I mean, I, I don't honestly know enough about the flow rates to tell you. Um, so I'm sure, with, I'm sure with, with an oil burner, you could probably, if you had it at full flow, I mean, you could probably dump the tank faster than you would run out of coal. Um, uh, my my guess would be, work, but yeah. yeah, I mean it's way less work. You wouldn't have a mechanical soaker, a guy shoveling, right? 
So you could probably just like over fire the crap out of it and waste fuel faster and just make smoke. But um, I don't know if, if you if in proper operation, which would actually last longer. Um, I imagine there's old railroad uh, <laughs> details out there about that and fuel density and energy density and things like that. But uh, I'm not familiar. It's a good, interesting question, yeah, though. I'd love, question. I'd love to learn. I could maybe check the uh, San Diego and Arizona map because I know they had water towers about every 20, 25 miles. And if I'm remembering right, I think the distance between oil fueling at Hakumba and Coyote Wells was maybe 50 or 60. Okay. So maybe you're refuel refilling oil about half as much as water. But yeah, yeah. And it also depends. I mean, like, you have to have... It's kind of like the Nyquist theorem in uh, analog electronics, where you have to have more than you need in order for all the situations that arise. Like a K36 passes a bunch of the water tanks on the Cumbrace and Toltec because the tanks were spaced out like less than every 10 miles because of the little engines, like the little Zoomy boy and its friends. Um, so the bigger engines could bypass those tanks. And also if you weren't working that hard you could bypass those tanks and so you had extra so that you could space things out and be more flexible in your operation so even if the oil fills were spaced 50 miles apart you know there's no guarantee that a train was stopping at every one or every other one even so be interesting i imagine the the southern pacific did all kinds of crazy science um of oil burning and, and how all that works so i imagine that the details are out there it'll just be in a book somewhere Let's see. Scottish Steam Productions asks, we all know what happens when you put cold water in a hot boiler. What if you put boiling water in a cold boiler? The boiler will warm up. There you go. <laughs> the, the railroads used to have house steam and house boilers so that they could actually put boiling water into the boilers to heat them up. Um, because the, the big thing is about letting the steel expand nice and evenly. And when you try and fire up an engine fast uh, from cold with cold water and all that mass to heat up with the fire, you're concentrating all that heat at the back. But if you put boiling water in, you're heating the steel evenly with the water and the heat transfer is going to be pretty even. And it's not a, a forced convection kind of crazy intense heat. You know, you're talking about a, a crazy like coal burning fire being 1500, 2000 degrees Fahrenheit with a cold boiler. If you if you're ripping the blower with shop air or something versus 200 degree Fahrenheit water, 212, you know, if it's boiling at atmosphere, blow science, right? Um, and versus like 60 or 70 degree steel, whatever ambient is, like that temperature difference isn't so great. And so it actually really helps you get going because you put the hot water in, the steel uniformly comes up to temp, nice and slow. You toss the fire in it. And then you're already kind of at steam. So you've taken out a huge piece of it. So uh, boiling water in cold engine is actually a good thing. And it's uh, it's all about temperature differential. Like this, that concept applies to everything um, in steam. And a lot of folks uh, get so coached in on the safety aspect of these things that they get into the mindset that some things are unallowable ever. Like, you can never run the blower when you don't have a full fire because you're adding cold air into the firebox because you got the draft going. And it's like, well, if you're just sitting there at 15 PSI and the boiler's at like 230 degrees and you're getting the fire lit, the boiler's not hot enough and the fire's not hot enough and the steel's not hot enough to be shocked by a slow inrush of 30 or 40 or even, you know, 50 degree steam or not steam air. So running the blower with that, like, yeah, you don't want to run the blower wide open and deal with all that crap, but it's not going to cause any problems. So it's one of those more nuanced things. It's all about the temp difference. If you have a hole and a coal fire and you can let ambient air sneak in and hit the tube sheet when the boiler is at full pressure and the fire is burning at 2000 degrees, you get that sneaky whiff of 30 degrees in there. Yeah, you're going to break a tube or split a tube or or make a tube leak or something. But if you're talking, that's talking like 2000 degree difference, not 200. So it's all about that temperature differential. So anyway, one more pre-asked question and then we will get back to top chats because I'm sure they've been still coming here. 
Zachariah McLaughlin, Penzi or NYC? This is an essential question. Penzi. Hands down. NYC had some cool stuff, um, but my granddad was from Philly, grew up with Pennsylvania Steam, uh, so I grew up playing with models of Pennsylvania Steam. So, anyway. Sean J Animations. Hey, hi. I hope your week has been good so far. After watching the Railroad Crossing 101 video, you've been looking at all the Railroad Crossings see and noticing a lot of things mentioned. It's quite cool. I'm glad. Uh, that video... Um, that video is interesting. Um, I was really happy to do it, and I'd been wanting to do that video for a while. Explicitly so I could then make the GTA video and have a, a substance of understanding about what I was going to talk about. Uh, but I was happy to provide that knowledge because it's a pretty nuanced thing that a lot of people don't know the details about um, and that the details aren't terribly public on and it's hard to research. Um, so I wanted to share that knowledge the best I could and it didn't do terribly well as far as like YouTube analytics and whatever, but I'm happy that my uh, uh, knowledge got out there and people enjoyed it. So <laughs> Jersey's deleting messages in chat. It's fine. Uh, only a couple from, like, one guy, because I got several complaints. That's fine. <laughs> what are all- what are all the limes for? Did, did I say something dumb and deserve limes? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, catching up here. The Pirate Pilot. Was there a three-foot, three-cylinder loco that wasn't a Shea? I will defer to my man Armagon in here. Um, I doubt it, but maybe. Armagon, any idea? So, uh, yeah. What I've heard is that down in South America, I think it was either Colombia or Guatemala or something like that. Maybe Nicaragua, somewhere down there. There are three foot gauge, three cylinder, 462 Pacifics. Bitchin'. There might have been some 4A2 mountains as well, but I'm not 100% confirmed uh, on that. Do you have pictures or a road number that I could look up? Not on me right now, but I can find them. That would be awesome. Because, yeah, I've never... I'm not surprised. Like, this is this is the rabbit hole of playing whack-a-mole with things. It's like, that sounds pretty unreasonable. Nobody probably did that. And it's like, hey, we were stupid. We did it. Somebody knows about it. So that's why the it depends answer comes out all the time because like I don't know. Anyway. Blues crew. Hi Heiss. Hi Blues Crew. Hope you're having a good day. Hopefully not too many Croatian songs stuck in your head today. <laughs> oh and good god, string of string of top chats here. Tyler McGonagall. Hey Heiss, can't watch now, but want to contribute to the Montezuma fund. Cheers to you. Also, I'd like to make another do donation to the Nuggets for Brett fund. So more Nuggets for Brett, please. Yes, we will We will get Brett more chicken. Tyler McGonagall, and question if you could bring back any one locomotion, locomotive from extinction, extinction, good God, of any gauge, which would it be money, no issue? That That is a, that is a challenging question. There is so, so many neat choo-choos out there that all of them disappeared. Um, it's hard. It would be impossible to pick one. Like, I really want to you into articulated for selfish reasons. Um, that would be badass. But, like, all the Rio Grande standard gauge steam that we were talking about earlier would be amazing to have one of those things. The fact that there's not a New York Central Hudson that survives. Like, that would probably be the most impactful one. Like, That's coolest. The objectively correct answer. Coolest freaking locomotive so iconic like every freaking post-war lionel engine for like 10 years looked like those for re like that, that was just like the embodiment of an era and they did such cool things and and yet they cut them all up yeah like that would be the the coolest one i think the most impactful and most notoriety or notorious one to to do um but yeah but one of those three i guess Garrett Zimmerman, just, oh goodness, chat, just disappeared. Garrett Zimmerman, just finished the last day of date with Thomas, making electric motor theory training for the Navy. Thanks for keeping you entertained. Are those your decals on that car on the shelf? I don't think so. Hmm. 
This was a, a car given to me by GP30 Foamer. It's a lifelike box car, but um, I think it's just the, the actual ESD logo printed out and then glued to the side of the car. Um, I haven't used your decal set yet. I have it. I haven't used it though. I am slow on model train things. What can I say? So never at the forethought of my brain of things to do. It's like, oh yeah, I'll work on model train stuff. And yes, it's an HO scale standard gauge box car that's behind an SN3 model, um, <laughs> which is very silly, but uh, it's fun. Anyway, Zoro Arc 720. Do you know the YouTuber History in the Dark? Uh, I don't know them. I've seen their channel. Like, I don't know them personally, but yes. Exerios, Brakeman for three months. Ah! Yes. Dan Tanner, do trains typically break with the car's intention or in buff? It depends, drink. <laughs> so if you're going uphill and you're coming to an uphill stop, intention. If you're going downhill, yes. So then that's actually a really kind of nuanced thing, at least at the scale of trains we operate. Um, to some extent, you kind of have to. If you have a big train, you have to stop in tension regardless. But the, the idea of stopping downhill is um, stop with the engine so that the cars then don't roll in and try and push you when you're stopped. So you'll start with an automatic set to slow the train down, keep everything in tension, and then you'll add more and more independent, release the automatic, and then gather the cars smoothly. Um, so you'll have things in buff sometimes but almost always it's going to be in tension because you're braking with the automatic um, which is each car uh, all the way down so uh, almost always in tension but sometimes not so what might i cook, ne cook next uh we're gonna do a, a variety of the full american breakfast quote unquote i don't think i'll do the full breakfast because making hash browns on a steam locomotive sounds like a pain in the ass but maybe that means i should do it because i don't know flex I make really good hash browns, so it's not hard. It's just laborious. Um, and it, the shovel would probably be a decent vessel for doing hash browns. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that. <laughs> but definitely like bacon, eggs, maybe a bacon egg sandwich or something. That kind of vibe. Okay. Back to the pre-asked questions here now that we've caught up. Astra Adora Blight, what is the oldest train at the museum? Locomotive, it is the Denver South Park and Pacific number 191, built in 1880. Uh, passenger car or train car, it's hard to say because the records are not quite right, but we believe it is business car B8, um, presumably early 1870s. So we don't really have, uh, no one has the correct date. Like there's many people that have years that it was built, but nobody agrees and no, no one has hard proof. So anyway. <laughs> hard slider 29. Does the length of the boiler matter for power output or are they made as long as the wheelbase is? We don't see short boilers on long engines or long ones on short wheelbase. And did Khan finally realize that most local... Locos in RO have oil cans above the firebox opening. I don't know about Khan and his realizations of things, uh, but boilers, I mean, you need to have volume, and length is the only way that you can add more volume at a certain point, because you have loading gauge. You can only get so tall, you can only get so wide, um, and they did all sorts of trickery to do as much of that as they could on many engines, the only way you can get more steam space is by going longer after that, but there is a point where you can't get any longer because you can't support tubes in the middle of their span because circulation and scale and things and all sorts of stuff. And the Santa Fe tried because they were stupid. Anyway, uh, you can't, they've proven that you really can't reasonably do that. So you can only have the tube section be so long, but then you have combustion chambers and bigger fireboxes and things. So the biggest thing for steam production is the firebox and the firebox grate area. And then the overall volume of the fire itself. Um, longer boiler just gives you more steam capacity, like a bigger capacitor, which is very helpful. So when you get a chance, I found that three-foot gauge, three-cylinder Pacific for you. Oh, there we go. 
Let's see. That's a wacky looking thing. It wasn't built in, in uh, the United States. It was built overseas in France, I think. Those counterweights hurt my brain. This, the, the counterweights are not all... The, 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 it's... That, ah, yeah. It's that biased is... for the eccentric. Ah. Yeah. That's three cylinders for you. That's... That's that's so that's so wacky. Is that is it Gresley valve gear? I think so. Cuz there's there's something coming off the front of the valve on mm -hmm. the one side. Probably is. Wacky. Well, there you go. Yes. Th three cylinder not Shay on the 3 foot gauge. There you go. That hurts. That's that a hurts that is a, a weird weird choo choo. But very cool. Thank you for finding pictures. That's awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's see. J Train, what happened to the Florence and Cripple Creek? The Great Flood. Multiple times over. Literally. Like, ridiculous flood washed out the whole railroad like twice. And then they said no more. Why did the CNS 71 get restored to operation and then put back on static display? Uh, because using the word restored would be um, a gross overstatement. That's why. Don't use garden hose fittings on a boiler, please. Anyone. Quentin Murdoch. Why do you doubt the Uinta Railway's genius? Sometimes their genius is almost frightening. Frustrated Wolf Gaming. So on a steam train, would the conductor be in the locomotive or he'd be in or on the cars, passenger and freight? Uh, caboose or in the train? In the era of steam, the conductor did not ride in the head end. That was a modern thing. Kroom ever thought about train hopping? Fuck no. You want to talk about unsafe, stupid, uh, lots of things? No. No. We don't do that. Don't do that. Matt Cash, how to become train engineer. Requirements, helpful classes to take, train college. There is no train college. Go, go sign up as a conductor, work your way up. That's, uh, that's the way it be. The station pilot in the later day of American Railways, how many tank engines? This class is, were there also, were there any Garrett's? Yeah, grammar. Yes. How many tank engines? Some. I don't know. Shrug. Late, late tank engines? I'm sure there were plenty. Probably for specific service, but... You know. Garrett's? I don't think in the States. We serve freedom here. Can we, we serve... We, we serve giant articulateds here, sir. William Cannon. I'm sorry, it's not a K-27, but the K-28 air brakes you wish you could talk about or do a 101 on. Ah, that would be the uh, the Durango and Silverton scary air brakes. Oh, they're not scary, but strange, strange air brakes. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole thing. Do you guys know about how the Durango and Silverton does air brakes? You you, Isn't you it just direct. Uh, I know it's something weird. I don't know exactly how weird. Like, do they not use six ET? Uh, they uh, do, but they also use straight air. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so yes, uh, we'll explain how the Durango and Silverton's air brakes work, or at least how I understand it. I've, I've never actually worked on uh, their air, but I've had it explained to me before. Uh, so, do, 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 in the cab, you have a poorly drawn H6 automatic, and then a um, S6 independent, and then you have an S3 independent. And so you have, um, oh, that color doesn't show up. Whatever, the brake handle is going to be the wrong color. Anyway, you have an independent brake here. You have an automatic brake here. And then you have the uh, straight air valve, a second independent there. So this guy here, your automatic is connected to the brake pipe and controls the brake pipe. It grabs from the main reservoir, which feeds into this. These all, The main reservoir feeds into all these boys. Main reservoir feeds through the automatic brake valve to the brake pipe that goes down all the cars through all the cute little hoses. La 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 la. It's great. And on each car, 
there is a reservoir that charges through a check valve. So flow can only go down that way. So we get air. Um, oh goodness, why is that? Okay, whatever. So air comes in with the with the brake valve in release, like it's drawn. Do 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 do. Air comes in. You get the feed valve setting in this reservoir. So 70, 90, 110, whatever it is. Uh, and then there is what we call a triple valve, which is basically a logic gate that looks between the brake pipe and then that reservoir. And then that triple valve is connected to the brake cylinder that actually runs the rigging. So when the engineer makes a reduction on the brake pipe, brings the valve over to application, brings it back to lap. He takes what was 170 PSI, makes it say 65, minimum reduction, comes around. Valve here, triple valve, sees 65 on this side and 70 on this side, because this can't leak out this way. And then it says, okay, well about five-ish pounds worth to equalize it goes in there. It's not five because math happens and volumes and things. But the point is you take some of the air that's stored in here and you use that to apply the brakes. Okay, and then when you release the air, you bring it back up to 70 again by putting the handle back over here, charges this back up to 70. Uh, valve sees, oh, okay, uh, you've, you've released it. I see the increase. Uh, there is a release line off of the brake cylinder that goes up to a retainer valve. And the retainer can be set to just completely dropped and released. It can be set to a 20 pound holding position and a 10 pound holding position. And basically what the retainer does is it retains the air for a little bit. So the engineer needs to recharge that train pipe. And the only way he can do that is by releasing the brakes. So he has to release it. But if you're on a steep hill, you want to make sure you still have some brakes. So you don't want to just go for a ride all of a sudden. And so you set some retainers up so that when you release it, it doesn't release that right away. There's a sprung valve in there that waits a certain amount of time, and then it lets the air bleed off. That's how 6ET normally works. Very, very quick and basically. Obviously, Air Brakes 101, if you want the full explanation. Although we don't get into this side of it all in Air Brakes 101, which is one of the biggest misses of that video, but I digress. Now, the Durango and Silverton. They run a second pipe that I'll draw in red. They run a second train pipe that runs all the way down. Do, 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 separate hoses, second train pipe. And this is the straight air pipe. And it back feeds through the retainer line so that you have the retainer off. You can use the air, um, you can use air back feeding reverse through from the straight air valve to set up the brakes. So you can use, if the retainer, or if the S3 is, uh, actually they don't they don't have retainers at all, that's why. That's how that works, right. Or maybe they do in their teed. I don't know, that's the piece I don't know. Somehow this valve is connected in on the retainer side, and so they can apply the brakes, send pressure down directly, so rather than it being the reduction and then the comparison and the, the motion that way, they're literally just sending pressure down to immediately press on the brakes but they still get the separation protection because they're still running the same normal brake pipe. So the interesting thing with this is, is if this handle is in lap, when you release the automatic, it doesn't release the train because it can't release out the retainer because it has to back feed through the valve. It's my understanding. So this is kind of like a manual retainer valve, which is kind of neat. But the whole thought of it was, this is kind of complicated and confusing. And they're next to Fort Lewis College and they were expecting... Uh, you know, a bunch of college students to come run the railroad. So they said, hey, we'll do the easy thing and say, break on, break off. Easy, easy lever. Uh, and then they've never changed it. And obviously their engineers are really great engineers and they know how to use 6ET and everything too, but uh, they still have all that set up. So that's what the K28s have to this day. It's kind of wacky, but it's cool. All right, hopefully we didn't bore everybody with uh, crazy air brake question but it's fun let me catch up on chats now here great central glory how much do i know about maritime steam not much it's big it's usually multi multi-expansion shrug andrew frame maybe do your eggs last so the scoop is nice and seasoned by that point that is the plan bacon first arctic revival welcome to the brakeman 
Oh boy, chat just jumped. Uh, Bobby's Enterprises. Why do I suddenly see NS and UP in upstate New York? Horsepower hours. Uh, the railroads borrow locomotives from each other all the time. So, you know, maybe you're in Chicago and you have a locomotive go die and you need a locomotive and you're Union Pacific and BNSF's got an extra one. BNSF will loan it to you for that many horsepower hours. So you use the engine for 10 hours. It's 4,400 horsepower. That many horsepower hours. UP now that owes that back to BNSF. And somewhere else on the railroad, they'll do that. And so you see engines from other companies kind of every now and again on a different system and it's always kind of funny to see him because yeah i've seen csx power as far as seattle before and it's just like what jack morgan thought on rapid transit steam i.e chicago fornies or london coke fired condensing tanks your rapid transit foam run. we love jank early electrics there was some cool transit steam the bogies the elevated bogies so cool um, that's all I really know. I don't know anything about the, the London Coke fired stuff. I bet those were neat, but yeah. Blue Jacket Warrior. How's it going, buddy? Knowing that the DNRGW's home was Denver, I'm surprised that BNSF and not UP runs all or at least most of the trains in the area now. How did the sniff get a hold of the Grand's home range? The joint line, man. That was a that was a whole thing. Still is. Uh, BNSF and UP it was originally the Rio Grande in Santa Fe. Uh, ran jointly south out of Denver. And so from Denver to Pueblo or Walsenburg or wherever it is, um, there's two main tracks and they're owned by two different railroads and they can both use them. So UP uses, you know, UP maintains one, BNSF maintains the other, and then they run one way on one and the other way on the other one. But they're not like parallel. They're just in the same kind of corridor. It's actually a neat bit of a bit of railroad. Um, and so, you know, the Santa Fe ran through all that stuff. They didn't go through the mountains like the Grand did because they lost the Gorge War, teehee. Um, but the Santa Fe's been there, done that. Yeah. So that's where they got there from, from the SF of the BNSF. Simpson Music and Productions. Evening, highs. Evening to you as well. All right. Let's see. I've got like eight more pre-asked questions. I want to slog through them. Luke Mendel. Look at the British narrow gauge. Opinions. Small, pretty, and small. <laughs> EXL. Is your channel named after the Heisler? No, it's named after the bird. AJ Pelton. Does 20 have a nickname like Peaches or Grandma? Yes, the angry elf. RJ Standland, why do 491 cylinder cocks don't shoot out the sides like 20 and 346? Because they're not located on the sides or directly on the bottom. They're kind of tucked up underneath. Uh, do I have a picture? I don't know if I have a picture. Let me look. It's kind of neat. Uh, 346 and 20 have them on the exact bottom center of the bore, which is where they should be. Stares at Cook Machine Works. Hey, hey. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, no. well. um, let's see. You looking for a photo of 91? I was looking for her cylinder cocks. These are the cylinder jackets that I drew up in SolidWorks. And the cylinder cocks are back tucked up in there, in that pocket there. Um, so they're, uh, they're they're pretty far, far afield. I don't know if I have a picture of them actually installed or in the process of installation. There's the real one joke that they looked like little sleds let's see yeah i don't i don't know if i have a good picture that shows exactly where they are but i mean they're t they're tucked up in there and they're not all the way at the bottom of the bore which is a little stupid but i mean the steam it goes where it wants and it throws it all out all over the place so that's kind of how that works but 20 and 346 are straight down to the bottom so they they don't have any cylinder in their way which is a, a neat little nuance of them. So, yeah. <laughs> What's this Armagon that you said sent? It's another three cylinder Pacific. Yet another meter one. Gauge. Meter it's gauge. Okay. The holy Silopagon. Silopagon. It has it. Silopagon. 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 Very good. 
It's a wacky looking thing. It's pretty tall for meter gauge, isn't it? I think so. I I mean, honestly, it's kind of got that Russian design aesthetic where the boiler is just like, the running gear just keep it away from me at all costs, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very neat. Glad there's more of those. It's cool. Ragnar Adventures, how to become an engineer. Like we said earlier, start as a conductor, work your way up. If you're on the, the big railroad, uh, volunteer outfit, I mean, same thing. Start as a brakeman, work your way up. TJ Kretzinger, what's the story with Leighton and the Limes? We've answered that many a time. Um, he said a dumb pun. I went to throw the lime out of my beer glass at him and uh, proceeded to send it across the bar, nailed someone's date in the face, and uh, almost started a bar fight. Casual. Hey, can I throw one of my questions in that I just remembered and I've been meaning to ask for like eight months now? <laughs> yes. Uh, the little white marks on the wheels of uh, narrow gauge equipment, What what is that? I so you can tell the if they're still rolling. Actually, literally, yes. yeah. You you want to know if they're sliding or not? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell as a brakeman, and you're going down the four percent, like down Cumbrace, and, and same thing at the museum. You can't tell if the wheel's rolling when you're looking back at the train. You put a little paint stripe. It's really obvious if it's rolling or not. That's actually really interesting. Thank you. That's a neat little thing. Yeah. What good god is that Armagon? A uh, three cylinder four ten two on the meter gauge. Yes! Can I have one? Oh! It, yeah! It, it really looks good. Yeah! Get out the it, need, that it, floor, needs, please. it needs more tender, but good god. A 4102. It's got four domes! All of the sand! <laughs> with, can, the, with the shortest little this, cap please? stack that I've ever seen! Oh my god! Can we have this, please? Can, can I, I think, have I think the fourth one might be an auxiliary. Oh, really? Okay. Just see, like, a whistle and stuff plumbed off of it. Oh, intro that's weird. Weird design choice. There, that, that's so, that looks so good. That's so cool. Yeah. I want one. Can I have one, please? Please, Dad? No. Anyone? Bummer. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. <laughs> it's a four-month-old four question from Troy Hinesley. Did I see the new update on railroads online? Yes. Yes, I did. Several times. I think that's that's the thing that kills me the most about YouTube comment stuff. No matter the topic of the video, someone's going to ask about fucking railroads online. <laughs> Grade Crossings 101. Hey, you going to play railroads online? Just like, no, why? 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 It's fine. What is that? Armagon's just uh, gonna post fun things. I've, I've taken Armagon's place. It's oh, this is this oh, is not Tyler. that thing. It, is that a you goddamn know. Yellowstone? Yes. That is Yellowstone yes. on the meter gauge. Oh, yes. look at the tender. Look at the tender. It's so small. Yes. And then also look at what Ridgeway was smoking. Essentially. <laughs> I'm so oh, it. I I'm disgusted, but I love it. Oh, is this the the South Park um the no, South Park No, this is the thing? RGS proposal. Oh, that's the RGS one. Uh, this is the that I, don't I think it's something like a, would have been like an L52 or some shit. Weren't they gonna something. build this out of like two K27s or something? No, well, by all the K28s is what. Is what they're referencing, they're referencing right, right here, here but it was yeah. too like alco was proposing to build it but it was to k27 spec basically mm -hmm. men want one thing and it's fucking disgusting i i like it i let's build I, one i, I, I desire these right yeah now. after after we do the zoomy boy we need to build a shit post articulated wait a oh minute God. that's a lot more work okay but we're already gonna have one under the belt why not just do okay. something okay. stupid yeah but like if you're gonna build something else build like shawano or something manage manageable please i was gonna say okay. shawano <laughs> okay shawano in original paint yes is that one of the Absolutely. class 35 yes yep that is the first one that would Let make a lot more a sense to make than montezuma but montezuma's number went, one so before shawano i have this Ooh, ooh. 
What is what 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 is Ashpan? It it's a very interesting thing. It looks vaguely Canadian Pacific. Not gonna lie. What no, what doesn't. is what is Ashpan? Ashpan is interesting. Multiple sections. They made they made Agreed. neat choo choos down south. Well, most of them were made here for down south. That's gonna oh, yes. be Lehigh Valley vibes, if anything. It's cool. Combination Lehigh New England Lehigh Valley. Oh, that's a pretty choo-choo. Yeah. Chowno. Yeah. With the Greek key uh, pre-style, um, paint is just yes. Would have most likely been either wine red or umber brown with blue accents on those horizontal bands on the tender. That is... That is a pretty choo-choo. It would make more sense to build than Montezuma, but... But Montezuma is number one, so it's uh, and people know about Montezuma more so than Shawano. But yeah. Well, then, then do a Walt Disney Enterprises and build two of them. I'm open to that. You know, let's just build one first. So <laughs> let's let's see if, see about doing the impossible once before we think about doing it twice. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta catch up on my top Tyler, chats here. What? Are, are we turning this into a heist shows off strange trains stream? I mean, that's fine. I'm I'm game for that. But that's fine. What are the? Is that an 0660? Yes, this is a Japanese government railways 9850 class. There is one of these left. Wait, what? Yeah. No way. Whack. They are built by Baldwin, Alco, and Henschel. Whack. It's beautiful. They also hold expresses because fucking Japan and steep gradients are like... Whack. Everything. They also sectioned it, sadly, but, you know. Neat. Oof. But but weird. Oh, they said they... I mean, what a, what a fun time, museum, though? like, idea, though. It's it's a nice museum idea, but I wish they had done it on like a D fifty one. Something that there were have. lots of, yeah. They have like a hundred and fifty of those preserved. Like, um, are, are, is this the last one? This is the last of any of the Malays. Oh the large come on! Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep. I like fun. the whistle that just sounds like hiss because it's just a bowl with a stud. <laughs> it's fine all right top chats john dear boy live music tonight yes i promised i would yesterday so we, we will finish the stream with live music lightning wing dragon chris Jill. sorry i mean mark heiss huber holbert yes ornithologist yes northwest north northwesterner east i thought you said weast uh yeah welcome to the fireman Peregrina, I can't get my head around three cylinders in a bilaterally symmetric machine. Help. Don't don't look at air compressor positioning. Don't uh don't look don't they're less symmetrical than you think. Evil me, build a shit post articulated. I can assure you that it's harder than expected. I can only imagine. <laughs> it's, it's normal until you get to the bendy bits. <laughs> That's fine. Gamer Boy 102-72003, have you ever heard of the 288882 patent? I'm sure people, that's one of the staples of things that people bring up and when we're showing cursed trains, so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's a thing. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Lightning Wing Dragon, if you want a shiz post, articulated, you saw on YouTube somewhere, a model train with a 4-4 four, four driver setup. Can't remember lead trailing wheels, but the second pistons were behind the second set of drivers. Oh, that's like the Q2. The Penzi did that. Q1, actually. Is it the Q1? The, okay, I can never keep them yeah. straight. Because Q2 was the production run. Um, they found that the Q1, the problem was that the because the rear set of cylinders was so close to the uh, firebox, heat would just do a number. Cinders would do a number. Everything would do a number. And gotcha. Rip crew. Yeah, Q1 
weird. I guess it's not an articulated technically. It is a duplex, it's, but yeah. So it doesn't bend, but it did have two sets of cylinders and the four four or four six four four. Like why? Just 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 why? Why why Pennsylvania Railroad? Why? Like, do they not like balance? I guess not. It's fine. Simpson Music and Productions. What is the worst narrow gauge steam locomotive you can think of? I don't know. The worst one? In what, in what variety? Worst design or worst in crunchiness? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll just float Mountaineer as a name out there. I mean, Mountaineer is definitely on the short list of worst locomotives. Yeah. Uh, special uh, shout out to North Pacific Coast 21. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, God, special not that shout thing. out to that thing. That actually, that actually probably wins. Yeah, just just marine boiler, cab forward, pickle barrel tender, four four zero. They had to cut a hole in the fucking front of the cab because it didn't draft well enough. And then keep <laughs> the firebox door perpetually open, like. What? Just, just, no, just no, yeah. <laughs> Lightning Wing Dragon gifting five memberships. Chase, you mate, thank you. William Grantham, what is the most cursed modification made to a locomotive, to your knowledge? Most cursed mod, worst or most cursed? Also, Mo I mean, I mean, also North Pacific Coast Twenty One. <laughs> Um, um, I mean, just pick any, any other freaking, uh, shop switcher. I mean. Yeah, but th those had utility. Like, they the did, but they were still cursed. Do, do I need to bring out 1-0? Is that, is that the one that I'm looking up? Uh, the. The Rio Grande the, oh, Burnham, yeah. Burnham yeah. shop one? Yeah, you, I'm not yeah. finding the pictures, so you find that uh, one. Uh. I I've got one right here. The the one with the the hammer hold. Yeah, you know, for your big sledge. I've never noticed that about that. It's just a giant sledge yeah, hanging got, off the side of it. Yeah, it's, it's got that. You've got all the places to hang your chains up front. You've got what else? A little flag holder on the side of the cab. I thought it's an 080 too, isn't it? Yep, a standard gauge turn, and we're like, hmm good for 60 it's got a three chime on it shop switcher with a fucking three chime yeah it's cool weird choo choo um the the most cursed might be the the oh no i know what the most cursed is i know exactly what the most cursed is oh no i know exactly what it is this is uh this is how um i piss off one individual in this call real fast Look at how they massacred my boy! Is it 2250? It's 2250. Yeah. Yes, it's 2250. That was a K27! It's better. Uh, Fight me. No! Fuck you, it's worse! Wings. No! I can understand why you like it. It is neat. But, like, it also hurts. It's, it's very squished. It gives me a headache. The center headlight on it is just like. <laughs> That's they, cool they though. Like, have, have you seen the other like Mexican narrow gauge two eight os? The way they're just like, we're standard gauge but squish. Like that is yeah, their whole. Yeah. That's that what they're the, going the vibe. for. Vibe. Yeah. Okay, but like an eighteen inch sunbeam there. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta sell the look. Patrick McNeely. Cheers to you, mate. Thank you for this honk. super chat. Don't honk! Oh god, it's a goose. Honk. Don't don't get into collecting photo slides of steam trains. You'll go broke. You spend a lot of money on fire truck photos. Also, the Lackawanna Cutoff NGT project is slated to open in 2025. It won't. <laughs> yeah, welcome <laughs> welcome to government projects.jpg. Yeah. 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 I uh I had a, a little chuckle looking at the news in Seattle and hearing about East Link, which I was getting ready to test when I worked for Sound Transit still, getting delayed like three years. And it's just like, oh, man, that project was like 
so close to the wire and then they just discovered the like biggest concrete problem yeah sad day gabriel morris why does indirect wall shirts exist i don't i don't know I don't know. Why does Southern exist? Why do a lot of Why do a lot exist? of Valve Gears exist? Yeah. yeah. A lot of things exist. So, somebody thought that it would be neat. We... Simpson Music and Productions kill that thing. Yes. Lightning Wing Dragon. Goose. Train. The goose is a train. Yes. Uh, by the way, Sits once abducted. Sure. Grab him. Joining the chat now is Sits. No, it's a party. Now it's a, well, I mean, it's not a party. I'm out uh, of beer. I need to go get more beer. Uh, oh, I wish. No. So this might be AFK. Oh, well, he'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. So someone says, Mr. or not Mr. DNH, Arctic Revival. Have I seen the DNH 480 triple expansion locomotive? Picks and stats and Discord and foaming? It's going to ruin your day. No! Oh, yeah. what, what the fuck is this? Yeah. That's That's, I just warned you. I warned you, man. Yeah. No! That's ugly. What? What? Why is it? No! 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 Why are there two <laughs> fucking main rods? Like, you stare at the picture and you're like, ooh, that's ugly. And then there's two main rods that share a fucking bearing? What is this? Yeah. Uh, I just like the caption on the second picture. Process of erection. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you erect locomotives. That's what you do. Process what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> And also look what? at the tender. What look is at the tender. that? It's got a booster. Ah! Where is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? As if I, I've permanently shifted up an oct octave. Christ! We need to bring it back down. What? 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 Oh, what? this is fucked. What? What? Purge this what? heresy immediately. What? 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 As well, I no, am 500 pounds struggling not to vomit right now. What? 500 psi from that fucking boiler. 500, 500 psi from from is it a water tube? I'm trying to. I believe it is. Okay, so you see it shrouded, and you're like, "This this looks awful." Then you see it unshrouded, and you go, "This is some fucking this idiot artist's attempt at drawing a train." But it's real. <laughs> what? What the f what 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 like high study XE has stopped responding. <laughs> what at five hundred psi it has to be a water tube. There's no way. I think it's that so. It's got jet. these. It's got these auxiliary boiler tanks. These smaller other like upper tanks on it. You you should you should just stop thinking about it. <laughs> Instead of I've I've come to the realization that Delaware and Hudson was just on some shit. <laughs> Look, this is why Look at like, this. I, I talk about anthracite all Look the time. Look at how fucking wide the fire thing, door the is! Like, the fire door is three goddamn feet wide! This is why I don't talk about the DNH. It doesn't deserve to live. And so it didn't. They I'm just it. looking at it shrouded and... Uh, like, it's just a tube. It's a meat stick. That's all it is. It's ugly. Well, never you all want to see the worst 440 of all time? Look in the uh, receipt. Text. Oh, I hate uh, this. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh my oh. God. Have I not been showing my screen this whole time? No, you, you have not. Oh my God. You you missed me showing this. I sorry, 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 stream. Uh, I was my brain was too broken to understand what I was seeing to show it to other humans. Um. Yeah, so, 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 well. so, so, cylinders, I don't see a valve rod. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I don't know I don't what see, valve gear that I is. I don't see valve gear. There's a, the crosshead main rod I, sharing a bearing with another fucking main rod from another fucking cylinder that's at the back of the engine. There's some sort of rotary cam, some fuck shit going on there. Uh, it's got a bunch of cleanouts on the side of the firebox, and it's just like somebody extruded log and then made this and then there's a Wait, booster with another stack on the fucking tender i just I, saw I, that it's a triple expand it's they literally took a marine engine and, and then put made it, on it a train. Tra yeah yeah so here's the uh, underneath the sh like no shroud like why the fuck would you do put the pump underneath the sh like why are you doing that to yourself 
all these extra freaking tanks, like, it's got to be... Like, these extra tanks have to be the high-pressure tanks or something. And then it's got a goddamn three-foot-wide fire door. Like, it's just, like, the Richard Hammond doing the face as, as a train. And okay, just, to just, be fair, there's too triple many... Expansion is, the triple expansion is cool, but, like, what? Why did you put it on a locomotive? Did it work? No, probably no, not. Probably not. No. God, no. Even if it did, you Absolutely couldn't pay not. someone to fix that shit. Uh, yeah. That's uh, that's some bad. Okay, or... so what? You said the worst four four zero ever next. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um... that's that's actually one of the better DNA engines. Is that a Wooten firebox on a four four zero? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But it's got well, I mean, the yeah. the tallest steam chests on the planet, and center yeah. mounted cross compound air compressor. Uh, 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 sunken uh... headlight. Uh, That's so bad. Uh, this is just your normal DNH steam locomotive. Uh, you ain't prepared for why, the rest. Why? 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 Why does it have two air hoses off the front? This is about as good as these looked. Everything else is Probably downhill. Probably steam heating as well. Four eight fours and the Challengers are uphill from this significantly. What? 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 They they put a loaf on a locomotive. I, that's the best explanation. They, they, I they can left it in the sheet pan for too long. Like the loaf, like yeah, they 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 let your bread has overproofed, sir. I've done nothing but help but rip. What in Sam fuck is this? Uh, that's oh, why. No, the what? Yeah. What? What? Oh, it's, you're looking at the eight thousand. What? 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 Oh, are we... no, oh. See, the eight the eight thousand looks, looks like, like a locomotive. Fantasy. Yeah, eight thousand is nice. nice. This is. Uh... Can we just stop talking about the DNH? Can we go look at their challengers or four eight fours or something? I'm, just... I'm glad it's a fallen flag. I'm glad it died. I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna go get a beer. I'll be back. <laughs> no more. I am gone. Congratulations, folks. It's like everything they had, they were just like, make it England. <laughs> well, that was their idea, and they failed. Yeah, <laughs> but so no. He likes it. Like, one of the best things that came over from England was Southern Railway Green. That was it. <laughs> that's, 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 where the, that's where the torch ends. I mean, um, for anybody who doesn't know, if the chat, you can still hear us over on YouTube... Uh, basically, the president of the Southern Railway of the United States went over to the Southern Railway of England, and he was like, Hey, those are some pretty cool green engines. Why don't we have passenger engines that look like that? And so he applied that to their new batch of PS4s after they had already been delivered, and then the Southern Crescent Limited was basically born, and then Southern was like, We really like this green and gold scheme for our passenger engines, so everybody's going to wear it now. And that's why 4501 was green for a while. Hashtag they were green. They were actually green. Here, yes. That's the fuel. Okay, but did they have a red cab roof? Oh no. No. We're not gonna no. Have this conversation nope. Nope. Tonight. Nope. Nope. They did not. We're getting into it. We're getting into it. No. They did not. No. Jersey. No. Yes. No. No. Yeah. No. No. Heel. I don't know, man. Beast hey. your heresy. Hey. I mean, the tender decks were red. I yep. am back. Hey, we got we more are... for you. Oh, God, what a grand. We got more controversy. I have become abducted. Oh, shit. Yep, you have. Yep. Welcome to the party, pal. We, we, Welcome to the we club. Threw, We've got we threw jackets. office hours out the chat so we could stare at awful locomotives, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> I said, oh, I said, the, Ample, the Ample Valley Flyer is fun, though. It's great. You just have an Alco PA pulling two cars. I awesome. love the observation car. Look at it. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm just catching up, and I'm seeing a presumably more DNH stupid with the sunken headlight. Yes, that is essentially yeah. a UPFEF one. <laughs> just, just with the headlight just smushed in. It's uh, post yep. Strasburg. It... Oh. <laughs> oh. Low, low, low hit. It's fine. 
It hit the Strasbourg end of track device. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. No, this, this, this is what a locomotive should look like. Yes. Yes. We, we, for the we, we like this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 1700s. Yeah. We like, we like this. Let's see, hang on. I got, let me gonna, catch on. Are we going to new on, build the 1700? Let me catch up on top chats here. Simpson Music and Productions, POV, one of your train drawings if it was real. Yikes. Gamer Boy, uh, a steam engine isn't cursed until it has skis. That's extra cursed. William Nimmo, now you're going to go get your meds. That was yucky. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hence, hence the beer. It's fine. But yes. Ooh. Yes. 1700s. Very good. 1700s. Nice. I think I like the 1800s better. Want to see another railroad that did uh, dog houses? Sure. There were a couple that did. What the? What? It, what? It, is this more DNA? Why? Why? why the sunken headlight Maine. with the big visor what on it. In Maine. Why does the they DNA just... exist? Well, they what? don't anymore, which is good. But why? The, the only two things that looked remotely good were those in the 484s, and that was because they were UP engines <laughs> that they just copy pasted a sunken in headlight onto. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. That, stop. Stop. Wait. What is? What is? What? What is this train with the PA? What? That's the Yampa Valley oh. Mail. That's. It's the best train on the Grand. Just a, a round obs that they accidentally copy pasted a freaking diaphragm into. <laughs> <laughs> That is what I like to call the observestibule, and it's perfect. The observestibule. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, I did not know about this train. This train's very good. There's, a, there's another photo of it I post a little later down yeah. with a uh, heavyweight RPO. I'm still going through that. My, my, my understanding of those is that there was a railroad. I don't remember if it was the Grand or who had them beforehand. It but was the they, CNO. They, yeah, they they had like an oops all observations problem, and they didn't have any like You're looking middle at the first, first, six, coaches to mark. fill out a train. So it was like just plow through these and add a vest wheel so we could use observations in the middle of the consist. I Jersey, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that, okay, okay, okay. So that is the first four six two ever. That's the dude. Uh... Oh, the what is that? The strong huh. boiler or whatever it's called. It, it's it's a fucked up boiler, whatever it is. It is a fucked up boiler. Uh, what? Surprisingly uh, enough, it kind of works. It, it's all boiler. It's Where's the not. firebox on it? It doesn't actually have a firebox. I think it has a like... Vanderbilt firebox, which is basically a marine boiler. Like, it is just a oh, tube just, just that cool. is wrinkled, like yes. ruffles chips. Yes. <laughs> That is essentially what it is. Uh, but God, better, I better. I it. It. Still cursed. It. Better. Still cursed. No, I'm getting but better. Bigger ruffles, thanks, wings. The four six two was brought to you by Camelbacks. Yes. Fuck you. The 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 decapod that's basically just a class seventy dot jpeg. It is yes. the the most beautiful thing ever. No. Mm. Yes. It it's is neat. Pretty, but... but no. It, okay. Basically. It was marketed in the 1885 narrow gauge catalog, even though this was built in 1880. It was marketed as if you want a class 70, but you have really light rails, you get another axle. Right. I mean, I've, I've seen this in the 1881 ASMR catalog too. I couldn't hear anything. Go ahead, Wings. Sorry. No, I was just saying this. This is in the 1881 catalog as well. Oh yeah, it is in the 1881 catalog. My my mistake. A PA with a Clara Story baggage, with a round in Hobbs dome. <laughs> the next photo is even better. With, with <laughs> oops, all observations. God damn it. That's and the mixture of the four stripe and the single stripe. That's uh, those are moods, man. Was this like the Grand's version of the Sad Sam? Pretty much. <laughs> Good God. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Catching up on top chats. That one USRA 282, did the Grand actually want to buy a triplex? I don't I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Never never heard of a 
potential order. Drew here, Barker, so. what is my whiskey of choice today? Uh, it is beer. I'm actually out of whiskey at the house. Uh, so I'm enjoying the Sawtooth Amber Ale from Left Hand Brewing. It's a little hoppy for my taste, but eh, still good. And what's up with all the elephant ears? Uh, Just don't cursed, start bouncing off the wall. Cursed shit. It's fine. Garrett Zimmerman, Western Maryland I2 Decapod Best Engine. I don't know. I haven't seen one of those. Somebody have a picture? Big. Uh, Big. Yeah, I can get you a picture. What is, what is this picture, Armagon? Central Pacific. Uh, yeah, it's me and the boys <laughs> with a five axle tender. Whack. Here's here's a Western Maryland I two. Oh the yeah the, the those truck that those wheel sets are so weird. That's weird. Oh, is this is this the photo of the T six? What? A Why? A what AJ, is? AJ, AJ Stevens had some opinions about locomotive design. Blind number one driver dot jpeg. What? That's what the lead trucks for. Oh, it's I don't, fine. I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that, that at fucky. all. That is very fucky. <laughs> I'm not sure. What... Driver two has a pizza cutter with. Uh, it's fine. On it. <laughs> it's a River Rossi model. I'm not sure what Stevens did to it, but that engine was originally a Schenectady. <laughs> and then Wait, Jersey's got the. Is this it? is this is the Western Maryland boy. Well, Let me find what class that, it is. That that is chunk. Yep. Big Ifed chunk. Is it missing its pilot, or is that the pilot that it had? It's that's that the is, pilot. That's, that's it. The rock knocker. That is the rock knocker of the Western Maryland. That is very strange. Okay. It's a good looking engine. You don't you don't realize just how big it is until you see the fucking cross compound pump right there and you're like, oh. That's a big fucking chooch. You can fit that whole thing in the cylinder. <laughs> Holy crap. That's some beef. This choo choo got some beef. <laughs> Caboose, you have a bottle of whiskey waiting for you, just saying. Cheers to you, Caboose. We'll have, we need to get uh, need to get together, talk dates, man. Sometime the next after after two weeks from now, because uh, it's busy till then. But you know, well, unless people have more cursed fucking trains, we can get back to the actual back office hour question. Well, yeah. right. <laughs> you want some I, I more? Atmospheric How type? dare you? Oh, look, there's a boost. There's a boost. I see him. Huh. Now there's a caboose. I saw. I saw now. you down there. Boos. The I twos without pull a challenger below twenty five. I'm not shocked. That thing is like, ished chunk. First ever four eight twos in foaming. Oh boy. Is oh cursed? no. Oh. Ew. 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 What? Ew. Ew. What is that Ew. Britishism on the stack? Ew. 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 Congrats. Congrats. You broke Mark again. Ew. <laughs> I think he's I need dead. To stop breaking him. Ew. That's disgusting. Let me, let me go. Let me go press the reset button. <laughs> Someone's got to turn him off and on hang again. On, hang on. Adri's breaking me further. This is from, oh, no. it's from old country. It's very good. Very good. See, this, this, you have this Stevenson veiled gear, but when you put on inside, very hard to use. So we put on outside. You just make little extension. You put, the, you put the eccentrics on outside. On the uh, sometimes you don't have space to put all the coal in the cab, so sometimes you store on the roof. It's fine. The way. It's fine. Don't don't worry. That's cool. The comrade, this is where you put the fuels. <laughs> what is, what is, what is this fucking thing? <laughs> External Stevensons. Uh, oh, with railroad reporting mark. mark that's got the the Z with the hat on it. That's a vibe. Uh, Very old country. That, is that Stevensons or is that like? Is, is that straight Stevenson. link? That looks or... it looks very Stevensons to me. Straight. It's two eccentrics, and they're offset like they would be. Would be. 
Yeah, but it, link... it might be it might be Alan Straight Link though. Is that Ooh. that's a thing? Yeah, yeah, sort of the the compromise between Stevenson Valvier and Gooch Valvier was something called Allen, which instead of just raising the links or raising the radius rod, both of which had you know disadvantages, what? they tried to do a compromise. What the fuck is going on with the valve yoke? Why is it? Why is, yeah. it is the slide valve just on a ramp? What? Suck. What? what? No, no, we don't like that. What? RGS seventy four. Like, like worse. Like exactly. Strange. So weird. The but the old country. Mark, you want something? Do you want that's something very strange? Play. Sure, why not? <laughs> that's that's what the stream's turned into. MOW oh, I've, oh yes, I've, we've seen I've seen this. Everyone's seen <laughs> this. Electric, uh, 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 steam, steam. Oh, electric? the Swiss one. The, sp the yeah. Swiss, yeah. Yeah. We like the chocolates and we like the overhead catenary because we don't have any coal, and the Germans won't give us coal. So we did this. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It, it, the best part, I honestly, will say, the Swiss really are cool. very weird. <laughs> Penzi Papa's cursed choo choo's best choo choo's. No. Okay, but as weird as Swiss stuff is, they do it right. They do. Now, the Swiss stuff is actually really, really solid. Good engineers out there. Patrick McNeely, if it, it was Jersey that said NGT won't finish the project, I might remind him how those Jersey Central projects are going. Oh, uh, wait. Be oh. Better? Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll tell you Glo what the gloves are off there with whistleblower is... jobs. Yeah, here's the thing: CNJ Southern Division just got rebuilt by the um, Chesapeake and Delaware Railroad, which just took it over from Conrail last year. Because that's right, Conrail's still around. And then from there, they're rehabilitating part uh, rehabilitating part of a line that has been out of service for 40 years between Farmingdale, New Jersey, and Freehold, New Jersey, to uh, you know reinstate freight over the line and whatever and Essentially, fuck you. <laughs> I see. Uh, I gotta got, hop off. Got fo but, uh, foaming, oh in, foaming chat has just turned into cursed engines. <laughs> Later, wings. See you, wings. Yeah, Bye. yeah. What, you, wings. what? 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 Oh no, not that thing. Why? Why? Oh yeah. That Why? Thing. For more yeah, leverage. It. I get. I get. Okay. I guess there is a gear reduction technically, isn't there? Because the bigger wheel, smaller wheel thing. It, it, yeah. But is there really? <laughs> I mean, you're not even putting any torque on that because the r the fucking rods attached to maybe a quarter of the way out the wheel. It's oh fine. god! It, it's, it's so bad. It's fine. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm so, I'm sorry, sir. You've stolen Hans Landa's pipe and put it on the stack of a locomotive. What the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> Did you it's pack for it when full you of want tobacco to first? The pancake. <laughs> what? What in the you need some strong tobacco for that shit. I I am I am struggling. To even understand the purpose of this. <laughs> okay. Simpson Music and Productions, there's a black five with outside Stevenson. Whack. Dane Smith, thanks for the dollar. Richard Adams, what about the eerie triplex? That's like that's like normal cursed. This is we're we're into extra cursed territory here tonight. Yeah. Oh god. He wasn't kidding about a fucking steam engine with skis. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. There, there is a story what? there. What? What? That looks more like a steam tractor. It doesn't look like there's. But, but, but locomotive. Like, it, but no. But what? That's not a train. That's not. But it's not. A, but it's not a track. It's not a traction engine. What? Hold on. Look, it it looked like it was a two four zero, 
and they just got rid of the front driver <laughs> and, and put, put a little a, idler there. Ski stand. They did. Look at the link there. Hey. If it's not a train, why does it have buffers? Dies. You know, what the fuck? You know what the worst part is, I just found diagrams of it. Christ. <laughs> oh, okay, we got one from William Grantham. He wants to show. Oh God. Oh. Oh my. This. Th so it's a three-cylinder four-eight-two from New oh, South Wales. Happened. That is so much smoke box. And why is it? Why is the smoke box there, not like, round? No stack. There's, there's no stack. The smoke box is like lobotomized on the bottom. <laughs> it's like someone took an ice pick to its brain. It's less cursed, but very neat. Wow, weird. I don't like Britishism stacks. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree there. What? what? This, this this is photoshopped, right? This is oh, yeah, this that's this photoshopped. this is that's like there's no way that's, that's not photoshopped. That's just a grizzly a free cut up that has just been shortened. It's fine. <laughs> yes. Black five with outside Stevenson. Did did you did you lose the pixels that were that were in this image? I see rods. I can't tell it. It's Stevenson. What? It, what? Can you buy a couple more pixels and send that again? What? No pixel what? for you. What? No. What? 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 Is, wait, wait, wait. Go back to the Black 5 picture. The the pixels? Yeah, the, the pixels. Because through the pixels, I'm pretty sure I saw a volume slider in the bottom right. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to take a screenshot, headass. <laughs> Download image, please. What? 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 Yeah. What? 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 Square. It's another train with tits. Canadian Pacific. No, that's Grand Trunk. Okay. I think. No. Grand. No, Trunk. that is Canadian Pacific. Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> Man, deleting deleting stream tits. elements from uh, from OBS has made the responsiveness of the stream really good. It's exciting. So, <laughs> Did with these together, no, no, why, why? With these O six six O's, um, they were intended as helper service, especially over the, the big hill, which would later become the site of the spiral tunnels. The only good thing that these things did was that they were rebuilt in, into the art, into either the R one or the R. No, they started out as the R ones. They were rebuilt into the R two class of two ten O decapods. And they actually performed well after that. Hmm. They're playing battle pistons. Okay, but the forward reverse piston is kind of cool. I like that look. So, it... so, so, when you yeet a cylinder head off this, you create her two cylinder heads in one. Yes. It, yes. Exactly. Yes. Precisely. Battle pistons. You, yeah. Mutually <laughs> assured destruction. You, you love will to know see when it. something is wrong. If you... <laughs> you will really know when something is wrong. The whole choo choo dies. You it's see, fine. if make Choo Choo Train afraid of self, it never fail. Exactly, mm, Conrad. Yes, yes. <clears throat> All right, I got to catch up on the uh, top chats here. RC, hey, hi. Just wanted to say hello. An odd question. What are my thoughts on the New York Central? Would you like to see a new build, Hudson? I don't really have opinions on the Central. Um, they had cool Choo Choo's. And yes, I would love to see new build, Hudson. Those, are, I mean, those are like... You think of like quintessential Eastern steam locomotive, the Hudson's on the short list, I think. Um, so, very neat. William Grantham, yes, we showed off the three cylinder 482. Drew Barker, five memberships gifted. Cheers to you. <laughs> Jersey, what super chat did you delete? <laughs> Some guy just said he was going to spend money to piss me off, so I was like, okay. No, nah, you're just sending money now. <laughs> okay, well, you Mod you read it, abuse. so I mean, there you go. Mod abuse. Sucks. It's fine. Thank you for the $5, you though. You can't spell Jersey without mod abuse. It's fine. Of course. Lightning Wing Dragon. As a New Yorker, I cannot defend my brethren to the West, but I can't defend us, defend us either. We only just got the LIGC tunnel done, and Penn is a mess. Yeah. And Patrick, you deleted two of his super chats? Don't be a yeah, dick, it, bro. It was the same. No, 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 no. I, I timed him out for 300 seconds. I didn't delete him. It does that itself. Oh, okay. 
Well, don't be a piece of shit. Anyway. I'm not. Lightning wing dragon, so am I. I lost what that was in uh, reference to. Simpson music and productions. Yes, we saw the black five, all two pixels of it. Thank you. Gamer boy, the engine with skis was for traveling over ice without tracks and would pull trails, sleds behind it. That's a mood. Sean Doyle, what about a locomotive with skis and tracks? Check out the Lombard log haulers. Those are wacky. I've seen those before. Those are kind of cool. Isn't though. isn't that just Polar Express with extra steps? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Kind of. And Clay Simon Simonique. Oh, I can't pronounce that either. What are the th my thoughts on the Lombard log haulers? Apparently, we're looking at the uh, Lombard log haulers. Oh, those are those are neat. I think there's only one, technically. Only one left, really? Yeah. It's kind of this is more road those locomotive, things. more road locomotive than like a steam traction engine. Like these feel more trainy than than like a normal traction engine. They're very fun. They are based as fuck. I mean, I would totally drive that to work if I could get there in more than an hour. Right. <laughs> Lightning Wing Dragon, I too was making fun of Jersey. Have some dollars. Cheers to you. Thank you. Uh, vintage Cookie, I'm just looking at the chat, sent a better quality picture. Oh, there of, it yeah, is. Oh, Black look! Five. Look! The pixels! Pixels, wow. Weird. And no volume slider in the bottom right. Because someone knows how to download an image. Wait. Wait. What? Oh. Oh, wait. What? Now that I can actually see what's going on. It's it's still got like an eccentric like it's wall shirts rather than the normal Stevenson style. But then it's got like something built off of that, and then there's an offset for the for the other link. That is bizarre. It, it's pant shards. <laughs> Pace.exe has stopped. <laughs> Sits. You got... Pant shits. Weird. It was a wall shirts converted into Stevenson. <laughs> why why would you go backwards uh, I, I mean I mean <laughs> okay hey, that's um... marine steam but it, it's not marine so why whack whack <laughs> people calling it Stephen Charts Stephen <laughs> there you go What? 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 Oh, that's the monorail, O2O. No, not the monorail. No, no. What? No. What? What? That's kind of cool. Come on. What? No, what? it's just bad. No. What? I, I like it. You're wrong. I like it. No, you're wrong. I'm unable to you are form an opinion. To your, you're entitled to your opinion as long as you acknowledge it's wrong, Sits. All right. It's Super wrong. chat from Spagel Smagel. Look what I sent to Foaming. The NSWGR 29 class. Let's see. Oh, God. How many... Oh, that looks like a bastardized Again? Harriman 280. Britishisms on the stack. High headlights cool though. It's, it's strange. It's like it strange. it's so close to being yes, but, but there's still so the, much no. It's got the chain. It's got buffers. What the are the size what are of the those it's got headlights. headlights? What are the so links? It's obviously right. What are the links that are dropping down in front of the rail? I don't know. Hmm. Strange. You know how cars have pilot guards? They're bolted on. It almost looks like a weird 
I. Hmm. I'm pretty they sure are like guarding the pilot like wheels. I guess. Yeah, they kind of look like pilot cards. What the fuck? And the I one guess, I guess you has, can't like, have too. a true pilot when you've got this bullshit going on, but you know. Yeah. The one behind it, it very has British them too. Yeah. Weird Britishisms for not being able to mount an actual pilot, I guess. Weird. Weird, but neat, but weird. I mean, it's less not able and more not wanting to. I see. Well, I've got a, a hard out at 8 o'clock here, my time, so 27 minutes out. I figure we will transition over to music, and then I'll, I'll uh, have a little break probably before my thing. Yeah. So, uh, what what sort of rock and roll would we like to hear? Or not rock and roll? The kind that rolls. Gordon Light rocks. Gordon Light you know foot. Big balls, but high balls. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes, Here comes the sultan. Here comes the sultan. Shovel and oil. <clears throat> My pedal board is unfortunate. Anyway, downstairs. here's Wonderwall. Don't don't you make me do that. <laughs> That's the end. So that, apparently, <laughs> the links in front of the wheels are to remove something that can derail you, allegedly. Okay, so it's like Pilot a it's guards. like a wheel guard thing. It's weird. Like it's... a wheel guard, maybe flanger ish kind of thing. I don't know. Not a true flanger, but definitely. It's not a true flanger, guard. but it would kind of work like one. We should write a new song about weird cogisms. Chica feeds. I answered one of your questions earlier from the Prius stuff. What uh, what's your question that I missed? And remember, I, I don't have Mikalee today, so I don't have anyone yeah, actively Mikalee's watching doing. all of chat, so. All right, tubes are probably, oh. Oh, I have to plug my amp in. I unplugged it so I could vacuum it the other day. Be right back. Turn it up to 11. It only goes to 10, mate. Make it go to 11. Thank you, Jersey. Very cool. All right. That wasn't me. The amp's on. It's warm. Uh, I up. heard someone belch. Oh, that was me. Oh. I just saw that it came from vaguely one or two places below me in the VC. Uh, by the way, Mark, the question from Chica was your most preferred railroad other than the Grand. Ah, oh, interesting. Um, I don't know. Grand's great. Probably the Penzi, I guess. Just because, like, that's what I grew up with. Penzi's neat. They had weird curse shit. Penzi, maybe SP. I love I love the 4449, so. I mean, we want some uh, Penzi curse shit. We should have had Anti up in here. <laughs> right. Oh, God, yeah. Anti, if you're watching. I hope you heard that. Ooh, 12 string withdrawals. Go for the 12 string. Ooh, well, yeah. Tw 12 strings always great. We can catch up on top chats and we'll get into it. Halo Trolls, welcome to the conductors. Dane Smith, Steam Monorail. There's a Steam Monorail and foaming. I think we looked at it, unless it was a different picture. Oh, there's a diff There's a different one. That's that's more strange. Why? Why is this headlight? Why? Why is the headlight so fucking big? And notice the double tiny boilers. Like, I can understand that because monorail, but the headlight is the size of fucking Texas. Wait, what? The because headlight is see where bigger than going, the boilers. Because they want to see where they're going. I guess. Okay. It's fine. And <laughs> John Deere boy, I've been getting some 12 string withdrawals. Okay, well, we can lead off with that. How much steam mass would that monorail have? That's the little piss ant thing. Not much. Make 
sure that that's Hello, not hearing any guitar. Doing doing things. Okay, you can hear it. That, that means it's probably going yeah. to stream. Yep. <laughs> That sounds cool. Uh, let me find the track here. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm probably tuned wrong for it. Just fucking send it, eh? Yep. It's in half step and I'm in standard. And I don't have my pedal board up here, which is obnoxious. I could go get it, but that would take time. Nope, just fucking send it. Firebird's probably in E flat. Sounds like it. Alright, that's vaguely in tune. As the German to say, good enough. Ja. Good and tight. Ja, das is very good. Ja, da.
<laughs> I saw several people asking in the midst of that. Uh, yes, that is 12 string. It has no name. It'll eventually have a name. It's going to be on my next uh, rock and roll album. Um, I still got to record drums for it and, and actually properly do the guitars. But it's become a, a bit of a cult favorite. Uh, so, yeah, that's an original. Called 12 string. <clears throat> People are arguing about salute a grade, man. Whatever, man. Ahsoka Tano, welcome to the break, man. Miss anything else in here? No. Stairway or cashmere? Oh, cashmere. Cashmere. Cashmere's neat, but it's not that fun. It gets pretty. Um, it's pretty repetitive. <laughs> We've done stairway. We could do stairway again. Someone asked for big hook though, and I've got the Firebird, and I'm pretty sure I'm tuned for big hook. So we'll do big hook, and then I'll go see about getting the double-headed monstrosity and play some stuff with that. Where is the? Where is that song? It is in that playlist. Do 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 do. Oh. Not that playlist. It is in uh that playlist. The one that we were listening to earlier. Is it gonna load? Perhaps. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Wake up. Fishy, why are you sleeping? There we go. I'm pretty sure it's an E flat. Yeah. I love that song. I love that song a lot. I really love that song a lot. It's a great song. <laughs> that's uh, if you've been here for a long time, that's a good one. Ah, Swanton Pacific, Sunrise. 
Sunrise is not going to be on the new album. Well, not the previously mentioned new album. We have two, I have two musical things, well, three musical things going on right now. One, I'm contributing to the uh, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon soundtrack. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, I'm working on a solo rock album, which um, that 12 strings going to be on. And then we're working on volume two, quote unquote, of the formerly video game soundtrack. Um, and Sunrise will be on that. It will not be on my rock and roll album. End of the line will be on that one as well. Yeah. You don't know the half of it, Swanton Pacific. You shall someday, but... Uh... <laughs> Anyways, people were clamoring for Led Zeppelin, so I need to go grab a, uh, a two-headed beast from the other room. Uh, so I'll be right back because it, it doesn't fit on the guitar stand because it's stupid. So be right back. This guitar is a boat anchor. It's fine. <laughs> your frame you should cover the song bringing in that georgia mail but change lyrics to be Ro rocky mountain mail and all that that'd be fun all right i have no idea if i'm in the right tuning at all for stairway and i'm pretty sure we have um figured out at this point that zeppelin will copyright claim me but they won't strike me or ban the video like i can't play acdc as much as it kills me so they're some of my favorites, but. Okay, cool. Yep. One neck is in tune, but you know. Kind of. Guitar electronics suck because it says Epiphone on the headstock.
see if we can get this thing out. Try hard for this one. Oh, that's not aimed at me if I do that, is it? I need to start at the beginning of the song.
That's gonna bug me now. I don't remember what the hell that riff is. top chats and I got to get out. I had a hard out at eight and I'm already uh, cutting into other people's time. So <laughs> I saw some people with some top chats and things. I hope you enjoyed the music. Let me, uh, let me catch up on those and we'll, we'll be out of here. Okay. William Grantham, Hotel California. Ah, oh, next time. Next time, Hotel California. Um, I only know half the guitar solo because I played it live and I only learned the one part that was my part because it's a duet. Um, so I'll learn more of it. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff. But anyway, yes, Hotel California next time. I'm out of time and, and uh, don't have that yet. So Ahsoka Tano upgraded to conductor. Thank you. And Tom joining the conductors. Thank you as well. Ahsoka Tano <laughs> upgrading from conductor to fireman. All right. Go check out the cool videos. And uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Glad you guys enjoyed Glad you enjoyed, enjoyed the stream, the cursed choo-choos, the music, the things. And uh, yeah, yes, Yugoslavia fever. Yes, Adri. I, I saw you DM'd me. I tend to not respond to uh, DMs on stream. So anyways, uh, we're going to go. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers. Till next time. Probably pretty soon. Peace.